Hi everybody, welcome back to Julie's Roots and Shoots. My name is Julie and today we're planting tomatoes. I was just trying to clean up all the weeds I had laid out here and in one of the piles I threw the pitchfork through it and I heard this little what? And uh, my little garden buddy's back today. I found him yesterday. I was just making sure he's okay and I didn't get him with the pitchfork. But it looks like he's fine. We gotta move you to a safe space, bud. Oh, he's a fast one. Come here. Just trying to make sure you're okay. Oh, he's peeling up. All right, let's move him somewhere where we're not gonna bother him anymore today. I think, sir, you'll like the tarragon. There you go. You go be good. Hi everybody, welcome back to Julie's Roots and Shoots. My name is Julie and I'm so glad you're here with me today because we are planting out a whole flat of these starts that I picked up from the nursery the other day. All day today they've been sitting outside in the sun. I gave them a pretty good water and it looks like some of them might have got a little bit sunburnt but it's I mean, just a skiff, it's not bad at all. The foliage is really nice and dark green and these plants look super good. For those of you that need caught up for just a second, I've been gardening in this section for, this will be the fourth year and this is Southern Idaho. So it is now the beginning of June and that is a little bit late for us. We usually plant out, I plant out on my birthday weekend, but it's usually at the end of May. So it is now June and I wasn't expecting to have a full garden. I have so much garden space here. But what I decided to do this year was to focus on these first three beds. And then I have a bunch of beds and like flower and a mint bed back here in the back. And I'm just gonna focus on mostly those this year. But if I do have volunteers popping up, and the rest of the garden over that way, I'll probably end up transplanting them forward closer to the garden because I'm currently, as you can sort of see here, dismantling the garden. I've taken down some trellises and I'm starting to work on taking the boards off of the raised garden beds. And so I've got a bit of a slosh pile going here, but we're not gonna look at that because today is all about beauty in the garden. What I ended up doing yesterday was weed whacking, took down just the boards from this one. I did a pretty good weeding through a, most of these beds. There's some grass right here that is just the bane of my existence. So I'll get to that later. And then this first onion bed here, the only section that still needs weeding is right in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and then we'll get to planting. Uh, a little difficult and it's still not perfect but mulch will take care of that hopefully. Alrighty let's get to planting and I'm thinking basil here, tomatoes here, and peppers over here. are too close together and intertwined that I just don't feel comfortable trying to rip these apart. So these are actually going to grow as, as one plant here.
Shall we continue on? I'm hoping to do one solid line of tomatoes down this one bed. So let me count how many we have and that will help me space out how many holes I need to dig. Okay, we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen tomatoes. I bet I could do it. I'll uh, boop them down this whole bed right here. So we can see that this tomato has a bunch of shooters coming out of the bottom. We're going to go ahead and just pinch some of these off just to clean that up a little bit. And a good rule of thumb is you never want to prune more than 25 to 50 percent of the plant otherwise it may go into shock. So this right here is acceptable and if a person wanted to maybe take off another set of leaves they definitely could. But I'm going to leave this tomato plant like this because it does look nice and healthy and it's not leggy at all. So what you're going to do is loosen up the bottoms of these roots and you're going to measure your hole to where the surface is going to be buried up to your first set of leaves right here. So I'm happy with this. We're gonna backfill in. If you have poor soil, now is the time to add nutrients or fertilizer. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna press in and mound this dirt right up next to this plant and then just dig a little bit of a moat around it so when you water it that water will sit in this moat and water this plant there'll be first of all extra for catchment and you won't have water sitting on the stem or the leaves this right here is my personal favorite way to plant tomatoes
here we have it. All of our tomatoes are planted deep and hilled with a little moat around them. Last thing I'm gonna do is just water them in real quick. Well guys, my battery's gonna run out. It is flashing at me. So I will show the peppers on another video. But today, we got this whole bed of tomatoes planted. So that is definitely something to be proud of. I can't wait to see you guys really soon on the next video. Bye.